Hey everyone, how's it going? So, as we've heard by now, there's going to be some new titans in the movie, and one of the titans that we keep hearing about is Mecha Godzilla. So, I don't know about you guys, but I think that Kong and Godzilla are going to have to team up at some point to defeat Mecha Godzilla. So, in today's fun Godzilla vs. Kong video, I'm going to show you guys how to draw Godzilla and Kong teaming up against Mecha Godzilla. So, I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with this, let's begin with Kong. So we're going to start right about here on our paper, and I'm going to make a little line that's going to go down, and I'm going to curve it up and back like this. Next, we're going to make a little line that's going to curve right up here for the eye. We'll add a couple little curved lines underneath it, too. Starting here, we're going to bring this up, and we're going to go around like this. And then right here we'll make a little line that comes down, and we'll make a little line that's going to go up, it's going to go down and come back in. Then we'll make a little line that's going to come right around here. Starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go down, I'm going to bring this right around here, we're going to go down and then up, and we'll bring it right back in for that lip. Next I'm going to bring this line down, I'm going to make it kind of pointed, and we're going to bring it all the way up to here. Right inside of here, we'll make a long line that comes down for a tooth, and we'll add a couple smaller ones, and a couple more back here. Then we'll make a bigger one here, and we'll add a few right in here, too. I'm going to bring this line back here. Then I'm going to make a little line that's going to go out. It's going to come back down. And we'll make a little line that's going to go right down here to the face. We're going to make a little line that's going to come right back here for the top of the head, make it kind of pointy, and we're going to bring it down here. Next, starting here, we're going to make a little line that's going to go down and then up for part of the chest. We'll make a line here that's going to go down, and it's going to come up here like this. Next, starting here, we're going to make a little line that's going to go out, and it's going to come straight down, kind of at an angle for his stomach. Right here, I'm going to make kind of like a zigzag line, just a little bit. It's going to be curved, but it's got a little few points on it to make it look kind of furry. I'm going to make another one that's going to kind of go out, and we're going to bring it down here to kind of form his arm. I'll make another line that's going to come up here, and one more right here, just to kind of form his uh, shoulder and his bicep. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down. I'm kind of adding some of these little zigzag points onto it. And then I want to make the hand. Now to start off with the hand, I'm going to begin right here. I'm going to make a line that's going to go out, and then it's going to come down, and it's going to curve back up for the thumb. I'm going to make a line here that's going to go down. I'm going to go around, and then up here for a finger. I'm going to make another finger right here. It's going to go down and come back up. One more here. And then one more right back here. Now, starting here in the mouth, let me add the tongue real quick and another little line down for the other side of his mouth. And I'm going to add this arm here. So I'm going to make a line that's going to come down like this. Make a line that's going to come down. I'm going to bring it back up here for a thumb. Make a line that's going to go out. I'm going to curve it around and then bring it down. Another line that's going to come down. I'm going to bring it over here. 
Mega Lion's gonna curve right around here, and then one more for the pinky that's gonna come up here for the hand. Now I'm gonna bring this line right up here to the chest. Starting up here, I'm gonna make a little line that's gonna go down and around. I'll put a little squiggle line in there for the ear. Next, starting here, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come down and then it's gonna angle out. It's gonna jump right past these fingers and then come down here. I'll make a little line right in here for the chest and then we'll curve a little line around here. Make a little zigzag line that's gonna come down here. Then I'm gonna draw a little kind of broken line down and then a couple more little broken lines right across here to show some of his muscles. Next, let's start with Godzilla. So I'm gonna come up here, we're gonna add a little line that's gonna go down and it's gonna come back here for the eye. Then I'm gonna make another little line that's gonna go down and then up here to form off the eye. Starting here, right above the eye, we're going to make lines going to go out. It's going to go out to here, and then we're going to bring it just back at an angle. Next, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to draw a line that's going to go out, and then I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to bring this line right down here. I'm going to take this line. I'm going to go right out here. I'm going to go straight across. I'm going to kind of curve it up and down, form the mouth. And then we're going to bring this down out here. We're going to come in a little bit. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to curve around for his chin. I'm going to make a line that's going to go out and then up here to form his jaw. Right inside the mouth, we're going to add a little curved line with a couple little lines just to kind of show where that mouth is kind of stretching open. Next, starting here, we're going to add some teeth. So we're just going to add some nice kind of pointy, sharp teeth in here on the top. And we're going to do the same thing on the bottom as well. And right in here, we're going to make a little line that's going to go down. It's going to come back here for the tongue. Next, starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go out and then down. Another one's going to go out and then down. And then one more here. Starting here, I'm going to make lines going to go down, and I'm going to bring this up like this. Then we're going to start just inside of it. I'm going to go down, I'm going to curve it up, and I'm just going to do this a couple more times. Now right here, I want to make it look like his hand is kind of coming into the picture. So I'm just going to draw a little line that's going to go up, and I'm going to curve down to a point, and then we're going to come back a little bit. Make another little line that's going to come down like this, and we're going to bring it back like this. And then one more right here. Then starting a little bit away from there, we're going to go up, and I'm going to bring this around to form off the hand. A couple little curved lines, and we're going to bring this back towards the end of our paper. Now starting here, I'm going to make just a couple little pointed lines right there for his spikes. And I'm going to make a couple more right back here. Then I'm just going to draw a little line that's going to come right down here. And we're just going to continue it down here for the body. Now over here we want to work on Mechagodzilla. Now to start off with Mechagodzilla, we're going to make him kind of like just in between these guys a little bit. More kind of facing Kong. And the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to make a little diagonal line that's going to come down. Then we're going to make a line that's going to go back and then it's going to go straight up like this. Next we're going to make a line that's going to go up and we're going to angle this back. It's going to be a lot of more like straighter lines because he's not smooth and kind of organic like these two. He's going to have a lot more, you know, angled lines. Next we're going to bring this line back here. Then I'm going to draw this line down. Next we're going to bring this over. And I'm going to run this right back up towards the eye.
Now starting here, we're going to make this line go up a little bit farther. Then we're going to draw a line that's going to come down and then over to the bottom of the eye. Next, I'm going to make a line that's going to go over like this. And I'm going to bring this straight down. And we're going to make a line that's going to go over and then up here. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down. And before I do anything else, I'm going to start here and I'm going to make another line that's going to go down here. We're going to go up at an angle and then we're going to come straight up like this. Next, starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to go out here. I'm going to come back at an angle and then connect it to kind of form that bottom part of the mouth. Now, starting right in here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down. Then I'm going to bring this line up and we're going to connect it up here. I'm going to make a line that's going to go down and we're going to angle it right back here with another little line right here to connect them. Now starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come out, make a little angle down and then a nice straight line down, make a little line up and then we're going to bring this right back to here. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down and then another one right here. And we're going to connect this here. Next right here, I'm going to draw a circle shape right here to kind of form where the elbow might be. And we're going to make a line that's going to go down. We're going to come straight down here and then we'll do another one right there. And then right here, we're going to make another line that's going to come down. Next right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down and we're going to angle it in just a little bit. And then right back here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down and we're going to bring it over here to the edge of the paper. Now starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go out, I'm going to come down, and then back in. And I'm going to make another little line that's going to go down, it's going to come over, and we're going to bring it back here. We're going to draw a little line that's going to go out, down, and over. Then right here I'm going to make a line that goes up over and then down to kind of form that claw shape. And then I'm just going to repeat it right here. Do the same thing here. We're going to go straight down to kind of meet where Kong's hand is. Now right inside of here, I'm going to make some kind of sharp teeth. I'm going to make them a little bit flat at the bottom just because they are a little bit more robotic. But if you want to make them a little bit sharper, you can. Now, starting right along the back here, I'm going to make a spike that goes up, down, and that's going to come straight back to the body. I'll make another one here, up, down, and we're going to angle it right back to the body. We'll make one more here. Okay, so right now we have our basic shape of Kong and Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla. So I want to come in here, I'm going to erase all my pencil lines really quickly. Okay, now our next step is to add some of the details in here. So let's begin with Mechagodzilla since we were just working on him. I'm going to go through this a little bit faster just so we can kind of get done with this and it's not, you know, going to be a 45 minute video. Next, I'm going to start by drawing a little line that's going to go up and I'm going to bring it right back to here. Now I'm going to make 
a little line or two right along his face here. I'll make a couple little curved lines right in here with a little line that comes down. Then I'm going to put a couple little lines right in here. Let a little curved line here and then another one right here for the jaw. And then a little line that comes down. Next, I'm going to draw just a couple little lines that are going to come straight across here. Make a little line that goes out and then over, and then another one that goes out and over here. Next, right here, I'm going to make a line that goes up, over, and that's going to connect to this one. Then I'm going to repeat the same shape right here. Then I'm going to bring these two lines right back to the paper. You can see I kind of angled them in just a bit. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to curve right up to here. I'm going to make a little line up. I'm going to draw another little line that comes right down here. I'm going to add just a couple little lines right in here just to kind of show where there's going to be a little bit of detail. I want to make some lines that are just going to go straight up here. I'll add a little curved line in here and another little curve shape here just to make this a little bit darker. Make a line that comes down, and another line that goes down and up. And I'm going to make a couple little lines that are going to go down, over, and then down again with another little line right here. Make a couple little lines here with a line that goes right over here. Next, I'm going to make a line that goes down and over right by his eye. On his spikes here, we're going to make a line that goes up and then down. And I'm just going to repeat these on a couple of these. We don't see many of them. And right here, I'm going to make two little kind of rectangular shapes. Then over here, we'll add a little curved line and a couple of lines here just to kind of separate that claw. And then we can kind of come in here and add just a few kind of quick little lines just for some little details on here, just to kind of a few broken lines, just kind of add a little dimension to some of these little shapes. Now let's move on to Kong. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little curved line right here for his eye. I'm just going to kind of color in a pupil a little bit. We'll add another little line under here and then a couple little lines right around his nose area. Make a little broken line right around his lips. Then I'm just going to add a few kind of curved lines right by his face, the top of his head too. I'm going to add just some quick little lines right here kind of around like his knuckles and everything. I'll put a few kind of curved lines over here. I'll do a few right around here too. I'm gonna add a couple little broken lines here. And let's add some long kind of skinny lines over here like he's got those uh, claw marks from Godzilla. We'll add a couple more little extra lines, a few little broken lines around here. I'm not gonna go crazy with adding fur lines in here because we'll kind of do that when we color it in. We're just gonna add a couple little broken lines right around here. A little line right by his face too. Next, starting up here with Godzilla, let's add a little line that's going to go down like this for the nose. Then we're going to make a line that's going to go out and it's going to curve back. And we'll put another line here by his eye. I'm going to make just a long broken line by the bottom of his lip. And we're going to curve this up just a little bit. I'm going to just kind of add his eye right in there. I'm going to add a couple little broken lines right around his face. And a few more right around here, too. I'm going to add just some long kind of broken lines going right around his neck area. We'll bring some of these down. Then I'm going to add just a couple more little extra lines here. I'm going to add some curved lines for his claws. And a couple little extra lines here. 
And I'm just going to add a few little broken lines all around here as well. And I'll we'll put a couple right up here on his spikes. And there you go. There is your drawing of Kong and Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.